Are you ready for Easter? My uh, wife and I have been get, getting ready. Last night, we dyed eggs with our daughter, Jane. Jane will be three in July, so this is the first Easter she knows what's going on, and it's fun. We got the uh, box of egg coloring stuff from the drugstore, the white vinegar. We boiled the eggs. We put the little tablets in the little cups, and we colored the eggs with the weird dipper thing. Uh, we let them dry. Jane put stickers on the eggs. I tried to make one nice egg by dipping it half in the color and then half in the other color. She just took it and threw it in the purple. It was... <laughs> the whole process took about an hour, and then when we were done, the eggs were all colored. We put them back in the carton, and Jane asks, okay, now what do we do? And I said, well, we're gonna put the eggs back in the refrigerator and wait for the Easter Bunny to come and hide them. And she said, why? And I... <laughs> I just looked at her and said, I don't know. I... Is there a story we're supposed to... Is there some kind of a plan? Because Santa, at least Santa makes sense. He makes toys, and if you're good, he breaks into your house and leaves them for you. The Easter Bunny breaks into your house, takes your eggs out of your refrigerator, and scatters them around the yard. It's what an insane person might do. At best, it's littering, OK? We need to come up with an explanation for this. By the way, speaking of insane, quick poll of the audience. Are there, are there any other 49-year-old men here whose mother still gets them an Easter basket every year? <laughs> no? How about that? Well, this is mine. This is for real. My parents are not going to be here. Don't say ah. <laughs> it's, I, I take this under protest. I take it. My mother gave me on Palm Sunday, she gave me an Easter basket because she's not going to be here on Easter, and I've not opened it yet. Although, I'm going to say, somebody rewrap this thing, because my mother would never do such a crappy job with... This, this is... I have not gone through this, but I figure we go through it together here. Uh, this is... Well, no, don't say woo. I got Pop Rocks. I got Bazooka Gum. Okay. Oh, egg-shaped chalk. Oh, yeah. What else? Bubble blower. What is she? She thinks I'm 10 years old. It's crazy. What the hell is this? A tea bag thing. <laughs> what are these? Herb scissors. <laughs> Every year, it's a bunch of crazy, may I say, <laughs> um, peanut chews. I don't like those. Uh, Guillermo, did you, uh, did you get your son uh, an Easter basket yet for... Easter? No, no, yet. Oh, yet. I have one for you. Here, take this. Yeah, I'll take that one. Give this to him. All right. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'll give you the gum and stuff later. All right. He's going to love those herb scissors. He really is. <laughs> I told her this is the last one. I actually made a big announcement. I said, when I turn 50, I will no longer accept an Easter basket. So this year, we had a big argument about this. This year, she gives it to me. I said, oh, this is the last one. She goes, no, next year's the last one. This is not... I tell you, I've had a lot of dumb arguments. This may have been the dumbest argument I've ever had with anyone. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel, and you'll finally be happy.